Hi guys, today we are going to discuss riveted connections. There are three common types of riveted connections. In this, plate materials are being connected by rivets or bolts. So the first type of joint is what we call the single lap joint in which two materials are being joined by rivets. We call this single lap joint. The other one is the double lap joint in which two cover plates are joined to a main plate. It can be drawn like this. And again, it is connected by bolts or rivets. The last common type of riveted connection is the butt joint. In which three materials are being connected. We have this... Uh, material here and then another plate here and then these are connected okay, okay. so these are the three most common types of riveted connection the single lap joint two plate materials are being connected by rivets we have the double lap joint we have uh, two cover plates top and bottom and the main plate here and then we have the butt joint. Top material is connected to another two bottom materials. There are four types of failures in riveted connections. Number one is the shearing stress failure or the shearing failure. We also have the bearing or crushing failure. We also have the tearing failure and of course the tension tensile failure. We are going to discuss today shearing failure of riveted connections. If you remember the concept of stress, we defined in our previous video that stress is defined as the force applied over a surface area where this force is applied. We are going to use this principle, but now we are going to discuss the shearing stress. We are going to use the symbol tau to represent the shearing stress, and we have the force P for the shearing force, and then we have the area under shearing. We are going first to discuss the single shear which we are going to have the first type of joints which is the single lap joint. So if I have two materials here connected by a rivet with a given diameter Our main concern here is the area under shear or the AS. For riveted connections under shear, the AS is defined as the area shaded here. I am going to draw. This is uh, actually the diameter of the rivets. Okay, if I am going to apply a tension force in here on both materials, the tendency is that this material will move to the left and this material will move to the right, causing the rivets to fail on this area. So that shearing area or the area under shear is actually in the area of the shaded portion which happens to be the diameter of the rivet used in that connection 
So area is simply equal to pi d squared over 4. Now, if I'm going to draw these rivets, riveted connection, it will show you a connection like this. Okay. Let's say we have one line of three rivets here. So the area under shield will be multiplied by the number of rivets in this connection. So we multiply usually by N, which indicates the number of the rivets in that connection. So again, for shearing failure, we consider this area under shield, which happens to be the area of one rivet with diameter D. If there are three rivets, we are going to multiply this area under shield by three. So we can now write the shearing stress formula, which is the force P divided by N pi D squared over four, or we can write four P. So four P and pi d squared. Again, this is only for single lap joint. So, we're going to solve uh, one problem to apply this shearing failure for single lap joint. Let's say I have this connection. And the diameter of these rivets, if I am going to solve for the shearing stress, we are going to use the formula P over in the n pi d square. Okay. Take note that in solving stresses, the units must be consistent such that for the shearing stress, it should be in megapascal or newton per millimeter square. That means we are going to convert 60 kilonewton to newton. That will be 4 multiplied by 60,000. We multiply it by 1,000 because 1 kN is 1,000 N. Then divided by 1, 2, 3 rivets, pi, the diameter is 20 mm, 20 square. So our answer will be in uh, megapascal. So that will give us. have a single lap joint here connected by three rivets of 20 mm diameter. 60 kN tensile force is applied on this joint. We solve for the shearing stress for this ma ma connection, 63.66 MPa. Again, your unit should be consistent, meaning since our stress in MPa or Newton per millimeter square, we have to convert 60 kN to Newton, multiply it by 1000. And then 
you will come up with mega Pascal unit. Okay, so that's all for uh, this uh, repeated connection shear failure under single shear or for single lap joint. For the uh, next videos, we are going to discuss double shear or the double lap joint. Thank you for watching.